Welcome in the fifth section of Apache Cassandra course and in this section we'll be looking at the data modeling primitives that are available in Cassandra. So we'll be looking at the collection types, static columns, indexes and materialized view, compare and set and other things that are available in Cassandra API. Firstly, we will start from looking at collection types. In Cassandra, in the table definition, we can use set data structure, list or map. And set is just a structure that stores a group of elements that are returned in sorted order when queries. A column of type set consists of unordered unique values. Using the set data, you can solve the multiple email problem in an intuitive way that does not require a read before adding a new email address. So we can create a set using set keyword in Cassandra and giving it type for that set. So we have an email set of texts. In Cassandra, there is also a list type that is available to us. So when the order of elements matter, which might not be the natural order dictated by the type of the elements, we can use a list. Also, we can use a list when you need to store same value multiple times because set doesn't allow that. List values are returned according to their index value in the list, whereas set values are returned in alphabetical order, assuming the values are text. Using the list type, you can add a list of preferred places for each user in a user's table and then query the database for the top X places for that user. So we can add to our table users top places list using alter table users add top places list of text. In Cassandra we can have also map type. As as its name implies, a map maps one thing to another. Map is a name and a pair of typed values. Using the map type, you can store timestamp related information in user profiles. Each element of the map is internally stored as one Cassandra column that you can modify, replace, delete, and query. Each element can have an individual time to live and expire when the time to live ends. We can add a map of timestamp text to our users, so it will be a to-do structure. And we can update user with that command. So we can type update users set to do and give a key that is a date and value. And then another key, another value where user ID is equal to primary key. 